Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to week number 12 of the Legion Sunday Showdown, powered by Lenovo Legion. It's myself, Landon Lano Sanders, joined alongside by John, a.k.a. Fallout Buddy. I know we're tweeted about it. We're thinking about really? it. We've got a game getting ready to come up in our quarterfinals between Liquid, uh, Vivid and Chat to be specific, versus Aiden and Thieves. Um, I think it's fair to say some very talented names, but also players who are very, very skilled I'm stoked to watch this one. Yeah, I think it really comes down to the battle of incredibly high-skilled, aggressive players and Thieves and Aiden expect them to W key to fly at people yeah. versus just very smart, always make the right decision. The best smart, aggressive players in Fortnite on the Team Liquid side. Yes, like you said, I'm so excited. I'm literally tweeting about it right now. <laughs> Almost completing my tweet because it's going to be a, a great matchup, obviously. Follow up with two Ts on Twitter. Is that correct? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, please don't mind retweeting if you're enjoying the gameplay. Yeah. It's been actually insane. And retweet and spread the word, guys. Get people in here. You know, of course, you go, we can watch each and every POV of the players, but also good to get some commentary and have some fun uh, breaking out some of the gameplay with my man Lando at Lando. The oh, true story has the original it. Lando on Twitter. So meanwhile, Damn. someone's going to go down early. It's going to be Aiden. So the aggression might wow. actually cost him as it <laughs> looks like you see it on his screen. Oh, Aiden it's in Tilted gets too. straight eliminated in Tilted. His teammate uh, That can't happen. Thieves, That's illegal. I know. But Aiden can't die in Tilted. Yeah, Aiden literally runs Tilted. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's the mayor from what I've been told. That's how it works. So, Kind of odd uh, to see that be the case. So, wow, a unfortunate start for Aiden and Thieves. Off the break, and Thieves nearly taken down as well, down to 34 HP. Thankfully finds a little bit of shields off the ground, a big pot to be exact. He can start to recover to an extent, but what a way to start off our top four. As we will advance now over toward the Liquid Boys, they actually landed in Snobby Shores. So not a very prominent location. However, as, as I say that, we see three players get beamed back up to the respawn screen. And I believe there's a player with a balloon that actually might be his teammate or could be an opponent. Not exactly sure as, as far as the teammate's opponent, that is. And it looks as if nice shots, lands one, lands two, and the balloon will float to the sky as it will be... Quite a few eliminations found for the Liquid Boys. So a phenomenal start for one. And if you are a fan of really Ghost or Phase, you are hurting right now because you are down 1v2 and the other team is thriving at the moment. Yeah, that's a great point. But keep in mind, we've seen it before. Solo squads, the ability to go huge. All eyes on Thieves who has to do exactly that. And guess what? He's in Tilted Towers by himself and flying at someone still. Oh, he landed on the edge. Wow, insane. He has that right here. Will he take it though? Or will he just have to chill? I'll be honest, I'm surprised he stayed here. Like, you were in a 1v4 squads game yep. until the towers. I'm surprised. With an AR, by the way. He doesn't even have a close range weapon. And he just pushed that guy like it was nothing. What in the matter. world? Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, he had no mats. Thieves? Did you see his reaction? Thieves? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thieves? You have to be kidding me. Aiden's dying laughing right now. And Thieves is not having any of it. Is that Aiden or Goalie? I can't tell. I think that's, that's Aiden. That's Aiden, I think actually. It was, I, heard, I heard the Aiden squeal. Everyone knows the Aiden laugh. The guy's just, <laughs> wow. That is depressing as it gets. So unfortunate. Yeah. That's that's pretty much the way you describe that. one word to use. There's a few others you could substitute. Oh, yeah. Probably ones that we can't mention on broadcast. <laughs> uh, but my goodness, that is... Wow, that already right sets the tone for this game. Liquid, we we're off to a great start. In the chat, please. Oh yeah, man, thieves. You're talking about the W key. Now it's starting to move over the to, key. to the F key, right? <laughs> my, my goodness, that Clearly. is. Wow, that's tragic. So meanwhile, Liquid has a huge, oh, what a huge advantage. Yeah, huge this advantage. is for uh, for Liquid. They can kind of just hang out and really just kind of build this up. But the aggressive play style, really, they just kind of need to play as if this is a regular pub game. Try to get those scores up pretty high, but. In general, you're not worried about the other two players playing as aggressive as we know Thieves and Aiden would have been. Mm -hmm. and I think that would have been probably the major pressure point if you are the boys on TL because it's like, okay, we can play aggressive, but we need to make sure we're playing more aggressive, trying to find these Elims off rotations compared to one of the most aggressive teams in the game. That pressure's off, and now you can kind of just focus up on your own play style. Exactly that. Now they're just smiling. They're laughing. They know. They're in a pretty good spot here, of course, in public match format. Only two alive. So if you're just tuning in, if you're actually watching for the first time, and maybe you know don't follow competitive Fortnite too much, or maybe you've watched a lot of the summer skirmishes, the Winter Royale matches, this yeah. is a little bit different. It's actually it's still competitive format. It's a tournament series, but it's actually a public match tournament series. You hear it kind of mentioned often. It's a two versus two, kind of like a traditional single elimination bracket that you're used to in esports or traditional sports. These two teams are playing against each other, but they're in the same lobby trying to get more eliminations. The team to get more eliminations after two games wins, comes out on top, and advances in the bracket. Pretty simple. It was basically competitive Fortnite before competitive Fortnite existed. Pretty much, yeah, until the a format was kind of decided. We, uh, Private servers were given. Yeah, yeah exactly. This is kind of the, the way 
that it worked. But looking on now, hat the lobby pretty much out of it. Pushing me. And kind of. It's kind of weird to say it, but Thieves right, and Aiden, a part of that particular situation, player jumps up to the tires and this. sees a very early exit. Phenomenal combination coming through from Chap as he will find two. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm always fascinated. Situation. Like I, I want to break that down. Really. You see how smart they play. I'm going for the revive now. Easy money for Chap. You see how smart they play that. Like Look at the difference between a Chap, a Vivid, and really any other top player. You, 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 look, you look at players right, like, right. Uh, like Symphony, yeah. Tifu, Cloaksy. Yeah. They play so aggressive. Chap simply... Chopped the floor to one HP, built a pyramid over it so he can regain control, yeah, and yeah, waited yeah. for the person to push him. Any other player would have gotten possession, would have quick edited, would have gone for the fancy edit plays. Yeah. Instead, Chap waits, plays it slow, and gets the limb when the person just bounces into his death. You can take advantage of people's over-aggression in Fortnite. I, I can't over understate it. Like So many players play so over-aggressive because they see their top players, their favorite yeah. players do it. It's so easy to take advantage of that, and not many players at the, t the top level do. Chap definitely is one of them, and it is really brilliant. It really is. That's great analysis to, to kind of bring up about some of the top players in the game. And that's really what kind of separates them from the rest of the regular competition 100%. is just that passiveness and that knowledge that you have when it comes down to being in games. Unfortunately, for the bottom side of that scoreboard, the number three isn't going to get any higher, right? Liquid going to continue to rise. And exactly. And I'd say that it's, it's smart aggressive. Smart aggressive is a term used in sports, you know, really often, really often in football, across a lot of other traditional sports. It, it applies to esports here in Fortnite, which is really brilliant. I, I think the fact that you can play smart aggressive, know when to push, but know when to also also back off, push, you know, aggressive but defensively at the same time. I think it's something that uh, the Liquid guys do a really, really good job of. And what I mean by that is things like ramp rushing, smart plays, smart cover-based aggressive, aggressive push. Definitely, and it looks as if they are going to be finding, as far as Liquid is considered, a nice little outpost, and uh, with a few little jets on the outside. Yes, there are jets here apparently as well. Many locations that I am discovering myself. But as we take lift off, we'll be able to watch both of their perspectives. And see exactly what Team Liquid could be getting up to. Doing some nice barrel rolls in the process, probably making their uh, in-game characters a little bit sick. And that's going to be unfortunate when you have a uh, departure potentially coming in to Tilted Towers. It can be a very high-level POI, but when you've got a machine gun on the front of a jet, you could argue who has the more prominent position. Not spotting anyone in this area. And we'll see whether or not... They can find a few players potentially off rotation. Keeping in mind, Zone is going to be pretty much surrounded around Tilted Towers. Taking a few shots, I think they might see someone maybe around second, third story. And yes, in the fighter jets, they spot someone in the middle of a skyscraper. Really and sure at this moment, like Chap somebody. looking to try and grab a few of those bills to his advantage. I believe a boogie bomb is tossed out. The other player is affected by it. Chap, great play to make sure to have that wall advantage. Making sure he's not dancing currently. It looks as if the ramps could be going toward his way. Player still back here somewhere, puts out the door, lays down the trap, and says, thank you so much. <laughs> HP going down, this player's trying to survive. And good night, here. Sweet Prince. TL, wow. And again, that is the exact definition of what we're talking about. Every other player would have just quick edited, gone for shots, flown at that person, W key. He plays so smart, aggressive, edits, puts a trap down, resets the edit, waits. Breaks the cover. I mean, this is just a different style of play, and uh, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I want to just kind of point out the examples of what we mean when we, when we say that Team Liquid right, truly is kind of in a league of their own the when it comes to unique st yeah, a unique yeah, yeah. style of play in competitive Fortnite. Definitely the case. And as we continue to dive here inside of Tilted, in the street. Yeah. we can see the inventory is definitely changing up. I know we can't currently see Chap screen, but I know he's got a few weapons, especially that heavy assault rifle. Thank you very much, oh, producer. Oh, but oh my goodness, that inventory now is rendered useless. And now looking at the other side, it's a big moment here for Vivid if they want to keep this lead going the way it is. Only two eliminations right now for Vivid, which is very wow. uncommon, but hits four shots in a row on an opponent. It was trying to go toward nowhere. The plunger nearly sticks onto Vivid's forehead and somehow finds that Elim as well, calm, cool, collected, as that is now going to be TL staying alive, and it looks as if the res will be good to go. Yeah. Wow. And I guess we talk about smart aggressive. I think that right there is an example of, like, moronic aggressive. Like, yeah. literally just, just trying to grapple to the right-hand advantage and the defensive <laughs> cover of Vivid. Easy, easy kill for Vivid. That's going to be the easiest kill he's going to get. An example of people just playing over-aggressive, putting themselves in bad positions. And, of course, a player like Vivid is going to capitalize. You saw it right there. A great job by Vivid keeping his team alive in this one. They're just going to continue to extend that lead. 13-3 to right now. And Team Liquid is off to a great game number one. And I remember whenever uh, I think
think it was, yeah, it had to be Vivid, who played his first tournament. It was actually week one. Uh, and they ended up placing top four, and it was a matter of, like, Vivid was just playing great, but they happened to, like, randomly get sniped. And it was a matter of me asking myself and saying, if Vivid comes back, because he had a phenomenal showing, it was really just one player happened to snipe him and kind of took down the entire team. If he were to come back, how would he do? And this is exactly what I'm getting, right? Like you talked about composure, great teamwork between him and Chap, who are already teammates. They already have that chemistry when it comes down to games. I mean, they are just lighting it up, and they are not skipping a beat by any means as they will be successfully exiting out of Tilted Towers. Granted, there was a little bit of a, a short stay there from Chap, but manages to get the res off and they move forward. But phenomenal plays coming in from Liquid as they are just looking unstoppable right now here in Simmies. Yep, couldn't agree more. Rotations coming through from Tilted as well. Nine eliminations are ready for Chap alone. 17 total, so it's me 15 others left in the game. So another 15 limbs that they could pick up here. I'm gonna, if I was a betting man, I, I'd say they're gonna get at least nine or 10 of these limbs here, I'm able to here also you. grapple their way up with the zip line to the top of the mountain, which by the way, I love the new addition of the zip lines there rather than having to waste all the mats and uh, gives you a nice opportunity to rotate early. I love it too, because you can actually jump off of them and like go back down. You can, ju like, you can basically like swap to your weapon Constantly, you can keep jumping off of it and joining up as, as well. It's very interesting. I didn't know that uh, each be, uh, Fortnite player has some magnets in their head that allows the magnet to stick to them. Does it's snowboarding exist in season seven? Is that a new thing? Like you know, oh, basketball and everything else. That, I see sick. all these zip lines. There's a hockey puck. Of course, goalie knows. There's a hockey puck. His name is goalie, by the way, because he was actually one of the top goalies in Minnesota. Shout out to Matt it's true. goalie and what's his Twitter? Goalie at goalie mh at goalie mh. Uh, best one of the best. Uh, folks in back of house production that I've had a chance to work with in my career. Big shot to goalie. Also a great hockey player. I learned that the other week. I had no idea. Meanwhile, zip lining from mountain to mountain right now are Chap and Vivid I'm trying to find some people. Llama! There. They're going to find their first loot llama of the day. That's true. Oh my goodness. Llama pinata action. Is it going to happen? Meanwhile, Chap's calling out a build fight. Looks like he's going to push it. And, you know, they trust each other here in these late game scenarios in pub, ma pub match formats to win these 1v4s. And, again, I want to keep calling out, if, if you are used to watching competitive Fortnite in the skirmishes, the Royales, the World Cup qualifiers that are going to be coming in 2019, it's a much different style of play. Obviously, you're going you're gonna to take a lot of 1v3s, a lot of fights that you wouldn't take in a competitive match when you're playing against other top players. Very true. Definitely Have something to yet, keep in mind no, of the difference oh yeah, they're still when it comes down to different though. particular yeah, formats. But... Looks as if we do see a few builds off in the distance. The northeast to be exact of Chap's current position. Could take this little ramp. That's very nice. And it looks as if there's going to be a few players on the lower side, but wants to go ahead and go for that high ground. And he's going to try to grab it. Thankfully, has the grappler in his pocket. And he could be actually utilizing this opportunity to have this high ground and pinch a few of the opponents. Takes down one, getting some shots on the two others. Great stuff and great utilization of those of that inventory, rather, from Chap in this situation. And double rockets, cross rockets, just raining down on the opponents right now. I love how Liquid's playing this. This is a great example of kind of the opposite scenario of what you mentioned earlier with Nick A30 and Hogman. They separate, but the way that they're able to kind of get back to each other, shoot for each other, and support one another is night and day compared to what we're used to seeing with a lot of these duos. The teamwork is just honestly unparalleled, and this Team Liquid roster continues to impress. Great recovery coming in from both of TL boys. Rocket stops. RPGs from the but was a push coming from the stairs. Yeah, that's and really just trying to get a little bit of an idea, kind of getting a little bit of a visual as far as how this game currently breaks down. And keeping in mind, right, take a look at our top right of our screen. Four okay. players left. This could be a squad. This could be two duos that's potentially around this area. But they do have a line sight on where yeah. the rest of the players lie. Double rockets fired out. These builds are done, and the player is revealed. No more rockets, though. For for it, Luca Chaps, so he's going to play this a little bit differently, let his teammates kind of do the damage. He's just going to try and get some shots in as soon as he can when those rockets explode. Meanwhile, he does have to know. He has to keep an eye on his backside. The defensive look and peek, just making sure he's not getting the flank there. Small things do make a difference. Good shots. Yeah. And look at this. Blind fired right there. He's going to pick up one. Hits Ooh. a nice shotgun shot after. And picks up the limb. All liquid chap all day. And just like that, Team Liquid continuing to increase his deficit. Now, what slight disadvantage? Oh wow! Get taken out. Yeah, the rocket in combination with a few shots from the opponents, and now it's going to give a spotlight to Vivid again. Teammate down. He's thirsted, and now you're left in a one v two versus what would seem as if some very solid opponents. Compact SMG. Everything for the most part 
legendary in the inventory. And the guy that killed Chap, I don't know if it was just me, but the way he was kind of just like holding W, I don't know, doesn't seem to be uh, the most formidable. His, his teammate might be a little bit more high skill. We'll see how Vivid plays this, but in my eyes, a one versus two for the bread under pressure. Liquid's, Liquid Vivid has been here before. He's used to these scenarios. I, I think he's going to come out on top if I was, a, again, had to make a prediction here. Vivid would be the guy to place your bets on. Spots the opponent again. Hits him early with those pump shots. Oh, has the rocket, falls away, still has the high ground, keeping that in mind. Starts to progressively make his way down, takes the elim, and that player actually was a solo. Yep. So great stuff coming in from Vivid, and now it's down to a 1v1. Yeah, one versus one. He can slow down the game, play his tempo, play his pace, all he wanted to do in that scenario. I know you hear you know, Ninja talk about it often in his streams. How, how do you fight 1v3s? Why are you so good at it? Well, really, all you want to do is isolate your 1v1s. Yep. Take your fights that are, are the best statistical chance yeah, for you to win and win those fights. Obviously, a 1v1 <laughs> is exactly that in that scenario. And now all eyes on Vivid as he's just trying to find his last person alive here. And that score is going to be a yeah. whopping 20 to 3. Yeah, that stings. That's for sure. If you are a fan of Aiden and Thieves, a big moment when it comes down to what will be. Imagine you have like Michael Myers two. just hiding in a corner here and just pops out. And yeah, I like to call these last players because it usually takes forever to see them. Hide and seek champions because they have somehow got to this point and uh, remain unscathed for the time. I believe, and I don't think that was intentional. Uh, Vivid actually leaves his heavy assault rifle. Yeah, he thought he had uh, one Porter, Porter Rift. He had two Porter Rifts actually, yeah. or Rift to goes. Regardless, though, maybe try to get up close and personal to the opponent. And it will be landing around here in Dusty Divot. So there could be many different uh, trees, many different Places locations crevices. where you could be hiding it. Yeah. Ian thinks they can make the comeback. Dusty <laughs> Divot. <laughs> One of the most uh, so sneaky safe. places you hear chap. A yeah. <laughs> little, little jokingly uh, BMing. As you heard him say that, Aiden thinks they can make the comeback. We'll see if they can here in game two. But it looks like Liquid in a good position to punch their ticket to a grand final. And boy, what a way to end week number 12, the final week of the Lenovo Legion Sunday Showdown Series, which has been so much fun yeah. to cast the few times I've had a chance to to watch every other week as it is really kind of the staple, the, the only kind of major pump stop format tournament still uh, that exists. Absolutely. When we talk about Legion, of course, Legion Sunday so Showdown is sponsored by Lenovo Legion. Lenovo offers a series of gaming desktops, laptops, and cubes with unmatched performance and clean purpose-built designs available at Lenovo.com slash Legion. Lenovo Legion, gaming desktops, laptops, and cubes combine a sleek exterior with some serious firepower under the hood. Lenovo Legion, stylish on the outside, Savage on the inside. I love it. And I got to say, as someone that's kind of an unbiased third party coming in here in, in casting, I love activations uh, like this. You know, Lenovo sponsors this series, puts $10,000 in the prize pool every single week, which gives amateur players a chance to kind of prove themselves by qualifying, Absolutely. play against pros, a combination of both. That is, you know, a, a, an activation that I love to see from a marketing standpoint. Whereas, you know, I know next time I'm going to buy a gaming laptop, I'm going to go the Legion route because I definitely do appreciate that opportunity for people to play. Great people there. Given a yeah, big shot up, a lot of the younger the talent and opportunity right? like, to shine, and with already forty thousand plus given to these qualifier teams, it really is amazing oh, to see. But right now, we're seeing one of the best players in the world do his thing, getting an opportunity, and all places the reverse trap down doesn't nail it though. Who's high ground now? So is that the Ice King? Is that like the is that like the last tier on the new battle pass? Wow. It might be actually. And I like this little little build fight here. This is a good little lesson. If you're trying to learn how to regain high ground by Liquid Vivid right here, right now, he's going to break cover, forces the drop, tries to force the drop, cones, oh. and just like that, gets himself some high ground. Trap game, and that's Oh, no. Crap. He knew he was done. Vivid. He knew that was all she wrote. That is how you do it, folks. Regaining <laughs> high ground 101 by Liquid Vivid. And what a way to close things out. Team Liquid up significantly yeah. over their opponents. That's going to be FaZe and Ghost Aiden. FaZe Thieves, of course. Yeah, man. And, I, and at this point, like what? I mean, we could argue a bunch of the pushes they need to make. Probably Tortilla Towers. However, they go Tortilla Towers to start the last game. And they go down. I will say, though, it is very odd to see Aiden go down to the towers, especially as one of the first players in the game. I know we were kind of hopping in very quickly, but uh, maybe just didn't find the weapon of choice. Yeah. Maybe he saw a player who had a pump or something like that to take him down pretty quick. But 17 Elims, I mean, I'm a, you know, I, I guess I could say this. I'm a person who's, you know, pretty much like, okay, like a team can, can kind of do this. I'm a skeptical person, like to a point. But like, I, I can kind of get a comeback that could possibly happen. But 17 Elims, 
versus a team like Team Liquid who has looked as solid as they have. Yep. I don't personally see it happening. Could it be possible? Yes, but I don't know, man. It's just based off the strats that we've seen from Aiden and Thieves. I feel like they're kind of their backs are against the wall because they want to play aggressive. However, if you look towards the game number one where they weren't necessarily trying to play very aggressive, they end up getting dropped. So now, what, like, what's the play call here? You kind of have to come out of your comfort zone to a point and try to make something happen. Yeah, that's a great, a great call on the Aiden and Thieves side. But really, for me, if you want my caster's prediction or breakdown, it's not necessarily what Aiden or Thieves will do wrong or right or anything that they can do that's in their control. It's what Liquid is going to do so well. They're going to land somewhere safe. They're going to play it slow. They're going to play for late game. They're going to shadow when necessary, uh, and, and which means basically just follow Thiefs and Aiden to steal those eliminations and to secure the win here. It's, again, there's n in my eyes, there's nothing that Aiden and, and Thiefs can do, and bar a miracle, to beat Vivid and Chap. Not because of how what they can or can't do, how good they are, but how good the Team Liquid is. And look, a, a w the, the, the standard Wailing Woods drop for Vivid and Chap. It's going to be nice and passive. You don't see a lot of squads drop there, and they are the kings of Wailing in uh, summer and fall skirmish. So yeah. expect to see that again. Very true, and it looks as if for uh, at least Aiden, he's going to be making his way toward Retail Row. We do see a little bit of a split for Thieves Landing in Paradise Palms. And one thing that I do like about this particular uh, split that we see is at least the locations are near each other. There are some times where we see one team go toward one total opposite side of the map and one player go toward the other. At least in this situation, while they are splitting and going toward two prominent locations, they at least aren't very far away for the moment. <coughs> uh, I will say, though, currently... A weapon not in the hands of Aiden, literally a shovel, oh, I mean, which I've never seen a shovel really do a whole lot of, uh, of work to you an know, opponent. They, they, they buffed the pickaxe. They did 20, does right? 20 damage, and now he has himself an SMG. So okay, thank goodness. I was going to say, looked a little bit scary there. was kind of running through the, uh, the middle of the town and just not having anything to say for himself, but... It is ridiculous how recover. fast his edits are, how fast his builds are. On, again, on control. I love the fact that he's just yeah. four inputs here. But. As a person on the controller, you can fully realize the skill that Aiden has. Because there's many guys who are on PC who are like, okay, like, yeah, Aiden's great, like he's on a controller. But when you play on a controller and you see how Fortnite, how much differently Fortnite is played when you are not Aiden, it is actually incredible. It's like a totally different game that you're playing. Aiden is on an, another level when it comes down to that controller, man. He just said he just wants to kill everything, which is kind of scary. If you're that is. Aiden. The one only. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I mean, we'll work. actually, please be careful. Ghost Aiden. Uh, Aiden pushing up now for spots. One hits a nice headshot there. Does with an SMG off the bat here in a good spot. Now is Aiden, and he's going to get his high ground. Absolutely dominating that individual. It's going to be just a solo. That person had full shield, so good job by Aiden. Only health to his name, no shield to his name, which means he had at least 100 HP hit point uh, deficit. Now going to get himself a nice tactical shotgun to use. The rotation from Thieves, I believe, with a balloon is also going to help him out here in this one versus one. And I will say as well, Thieves does find three Elims, at least in the transition from here to Par or from, from Paradise now to Retail Row. So something definitely to admire. I was going to say, as, as Thief's kind of making his transition, does he, did he really accomplish a whole lot in Paradise? Because it didn't seem as if he was really getting involved when it comes down to that kill feed. But it seems as if he did in the meantime. Nice little drop there as the explosives are tossed out from Aiden. Is there going to be up to five player on a balloon? Is actually going to be his teammate and saves him in the midst of that. Great stuff and great teamwork is coming the through from these two. Balloon meta is alive. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm, ex I'm excited. To it's see like a baiting tool. Use. It really is in pump. I, mean, I guess in pump formats, it's not too shabby. We've seen a couple players. We've seen a couple opponent players just balloon to death. Yeah. Or in Tifu's case, balloon to bricking him. <laughs> um, it's been a. By the way, if you were just tuning in, it has been the most wild broadcast in, in yes. series of matches. I think we've had Tifu and Symphony against uh, who was it Enzo and Yellow Phase Yellow mm -hmm. was absolutely wild. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it was unbelievable to watch, and uh, it, it's a it's a great way to go out week twelve, right? Just kind of having mm -hmm. a great time and just seeing some awesome players do their thing. Season seven though has uh, has come in and really. Proved that it's a much different game now. And Maybe like it's said, print is something you know you could say. Yeah, that's true. Definitely a uh, stamp on Fortnite. It, it definitely has. The uh, fighter jets, along with everything else, has made it something special. Something that a is massive a footprint. That's a lot sure. of fun to cast. Yes, massive footprint. And right now, Aiden is stopping inside of Salty Springs. Finds two very, very quickly. Great stuff from them. And that's what we need to see right now from these two guys. Right, continuing to play aggressive and even having to split to an extent. Right, trying to get up on that elimination game as uh, right now I believe for the Liquid Boys still pretty much just kind of hanging out in those uh, less prominent locations but they're going to start to come out of that progressively but trying to get ahead of the curve is what we really need to see from these two. And looks, oh my gosh a headshot from Thieves the bottom right of your screen there he was in 
a complete disadvantage of a situation. Got tagged up to no HP. And was able to pick up a headshot to pick up the Alin. Aiden rotating as fast as he possibly can to get over there. Nice balloon action from Thieves, but there's still some more people in the area, and Aiden's trying to hit the quick rotation. But you're right, they got to play a near-perfect game. They need to be playing like a record-setting game, which in duos, by the way, is like, what, 42 or something yeah, ridiculous? Something like that. So we'll see if they can do it here. If anyone can do it, it is Aiden and Thieves. All eyes on them as Aiden's going to spot one, completely destroying the cover and picking <laughs> up a headshot. The return of the shot. That was rude. It was. That was just rude. He just took his home. He did. Destroyed it, ran a hole through it like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> And then came out. Oh and man, that's 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 great. I, I was gonna say like maybe Hulk or something, but that works even better. That's very very accurate. <laughs> oh, Looks yeah. like maybe zipline taken and firing no some shots no along way. the way. Aiden, beautiful stuff. Another highlight added into the reel as that's now going to be seven Elim solely from Aiden. And let me tell you, Aiden is single-handedly making a montage for you guys. Check YouTube after this match yeah, because right? what, he, what he has done in the last two-minute segment, both from Salty rotating over, taking that man's home, and then literally gliding his way to an Elim is Instagrammable. That is. Tell you. Oh, definitely. That's, that's definitely going on the gram, I'd imagine, <laughs> after this game. That's Aiden, what, please. Oh, and there's an opponent that happens to still be here, well, I think. Yet. That is Thieves, who's firing away from afar. Yes, doing some damage. Great teamwork. Great team shots coming through to make sure that Aiden doesn't take any more of that HP loss. But they continue on. They're thriving right now, man. They're up to 14 Elims already. I'm wow. curious what the Liquid guys are doing right now. Yeah. See, maybe have they, had, have they gotten involved at all? And yes, they have. Five Elims in total. Not the most aggressive, but this is when they're going to start to try to come out of their shell a little bit because we talked about they go toward whaling, want a little bit more of a passive start just to kind of make sure they don't uh, end the game out in their own terms. But they're starting to get back in the game. But phenomenal beginning for Aiden and Thieves. Exactly what we need to see out of these two if they yeah. want to try to complete this comeback. I completely agree, but again, I'll go back to it on the flip side. I would say a phenomenal start for Liquid. It might seem not, not like it because they're down in kills, but they're up by, they're, right now, but they're up by, they're up by what, 19, 18, 17 Everybody. eliminations coming into this one? So this yeah. is exactly what you want. This is the perfect start you want if you're a fan of Team Liquid and want them to come out on top. Play it slow, pick up a couple eliminations here and there to, to kind of uh, to, to, to salt the wound that is uh, from Aiden okay. and Enzo trying to fight their way back and really play for late game. Oh, oh wow. Realizes has control of the roof. Player, unfortunately, has kind of a uh, Tower of Terror situation. Falls through the elevator. It meets their demise. Chap, great stuff. Grappler now utilized. Unfortunately, the build no longer exists. Taking himself to nowhere and hits. Did he hit that? Now he got the fall. Okay, I was going to say, if he hit that, that would just Still. make that even more impressive. Either way, such a heads-up play again. Most players, you've had the grappler out, would yep. have just flown they up there. They would have continually tried, most yep. likely gotten headshot or something rather. Instead, he takes out the AR. He breaks the cover. Like, so simple. Not flashy. Might not be as fun to watch, but it's, let me tell you, it it's is effective. impressive. It is yeah. effective. Definitely. Nice snipe, actually, from Aiden as we continue to go back and forth between our perspectives. Our teams who are just lighting it up right now in the elimination category. Exits the driver's seat of that jet, and they might actually take that, but they could even just rely on a few other mobility tools, speaking in terms of the grappler. But Storm starting to move in. And on the opposite end, some barrel rolls from the boys on Liquid. Yep. Now, the plane in the hands of Liquid in a pretty good spot here. Because Aiden's going to actually backtrack a little bit. Not sure if he's going for loot or maybe an airplane or an elimination or... Or what it is, as uh, Aiden's going to rotate back through. It must be someone that's getting her a Has to be the jet, it. surely. Yeah, it is the jet. Okay. <laughs> and meanwhile, Thief pushing. Finding one quick edit's going to come through. Flashy plays, but look at the damage that it's going to do to him. It might cost him his life here, unless he can get this last shot wow. off. Yes, he does, but the med kit won't be popped. He's going to get knocked, undoubtedly. And it's not his piece of of uh, wood to actually place oh that fire. And he pops the campfire on time for the med kit. Thief. Stays alive, but puts himself in a dangerous situation. What a play. And that was the one time where Aiden was like, okay, man, I'm going to be right back. Like, I'll literally be right back from the bathroom. Like, I literally have to go grab this jet real quick, and I can pick you up. My goodness. Heads up play from Thieves, right? In his inventory, I think he used all three of his weapons, got down to the compact SMG, which thankfully had a few more bullets left in the round, but manages to get it done and stays alive for the time. Wow. 17 players left and not a whole lot of work left to do if you are the boys from Liquid, but a huge objective still for Aiden and Thieves, and they're going to need both of them. Yeah, we said they had to be airless, and let me tell you right there, Thief inches away from making an error, but he survives barely. And meanwhile, now you see Aiden at the top right of your screen playing as his infamous soccer character skin trying to 
steal some eliminations from cross map here. Does he have a sniper route and ability to do so? He's just going to start healing up in the middle of the open because no, ain't nobody got time to build. And I was going to say, when we were referencing Aiden kind of going back into the storm, it was like, okay, like is this really worth it? It absolutely is because we just saw the worth of those jets in certain situations, especially in a pub format like this. We see Liquid, who are basically fighting for an elimination along with Aiden. What do they do? They drive that plane right in front of Aiden's perspective. They take the elim. The plane basically blocks everything in his perspective, and they end up taking the elim because of it. So it makes sense why Aiden and Thieves are so aware of the fact that they need to have this mobility tool. They need to have this particular vehicle in their arsenal if they want to try to make this comeback, not just because of the kill stealing possibilities, but because of the mobility that you're going to need to take down these two players. And as they start to soar in, the damage is pretty much already done. There is three found for Chap. Phenomenal stuff. Triple kill in the feed is now that's nine. Very close to double digits. Yep, and Aiden rotates late, doesn't get any piece of that pie, so it's going to be Team Liquid really just cementing their win here and doing a good job of that. Right now they're at, what, 13, 14 limbs to the Liquid boys, to Aiden and Enzo, or Aiden and uh, Thieves doing a good job with around 19, something along those lines. But I think at this point it, it may be mathematically impossible yeah. here given the remaining <laughs> member of uh, players in this lobby. And, and they might all go out together. I think uh, what we see uh, in Chap's perspective and now Vivid as well as they start to load in, They've got, uh, what is it, Thieves yet just sitting on the right wing. Vivid's playing them a nice little song, as it will be Team Liquid, who soars into the sunset as they will go to the finals. A Liquid Championship final, Lando? I'm stoked. I am so excited. I Meanwhile, well. we got Electra and Ghost Bizzle and Enzo and Yellow on the other side. So we might have a Liquid versus Ghost phase, a Liquid versus Ghost Bizzle. Either way, we have an amazing Grand final lined up here for the last Lenovo Legion Sunday showdown of this series. This is week number 12, and man, it's been an honor to cast it. It has been, man. It's been. Uh...